Here's a question on square roots. If you haven't had a go already, pause the video and have a go now. Okay, first part, um, it's one of those things you either can do or can't do. It's non-calculated, so you can't resort to the calculator. What does this symbol mean? Well, this symbol is the square root symbol. What is the square root of 36? And to know that, we know we need to know our tables. We need to know that 6 times 6 is 36. Now, if we're not sure what it's going to be, we could, and we know that it's square root, which is the opposite of square, and we could just work through our square numbers. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, until we get to the right one, 6 squared, which is 36. Now, the square root is from this number, what number have we squared? So if it was the square root of 36, which is, the answer is just 6. You shouldn't write 6 times 6, just the number 6 on its own. So if we were doing the square root of 16, then we'd look for the number 4, because 4 squared is 16. Okay, so part B, estimate the square root of 200, and explain how you got your answer. Again, it's non-calculated, we can't just type that into the calculator and press equals, we have to do some explanation. Okay, so we're looking for this idea. So what square number um, do we know that's about 200? Now, you're technically, technically supposed to know your square numbers in GCSE Maths up to 15 squared. And those last three or four, so 12 squared is 144, 13 squared is 169. Now, some people find it difficult to remember, but this number here seems to make teenage boys chuckle every time I say it, so if you remember it for that reason, then you should be okay. And 14 squared is the same as, as 13 squared, except for these last two digits are turned around, so it's 196, and 15 squared is 225. So if we're looking for the square root of 200, it's not a whole number because a square the square root of 196 is 14 and the square root of 225 is 15 but it is somewhere in between those two so it's in between 14 and 15 and it's very close to 14 um, because 14 squared is 196 so if you were going to estimate what it was you could get away with 14.1 uh, or 14.2 and in fact I think you're allowed to have anything between um, the range of 13 to 15 for one mark and then you need some working to get the second mark to show where the number comes from. So if you put down something like 13 squared is 169, so it's bigger than 13, and then put your answer bigger than 13, you're, you will get some marks for that. 